Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Nottingham Forest up against Fulham. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Good luck. Cheers. Hey. Thanks. Hi. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good luck. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, no surprise really, they're matching up here, but there are many different ways they can approach this game. And I just think they'll be cautious today, certainly early on. Thank you, enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Well, it didn't go as a plan in the end. He's protecting it well. Chris Wood. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. And making high pressing work for them here. He continues his run. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Reed. Evangelos Pavlidis. And a fantastic diving save. William Tass with taking the corner. Well, still an issue here. Reed. That is a really disappointing effort. Goodness me. On that occasion, just didn't make the right sort of contact. Should be testing the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Niakate, Emmanuel Dennis, Wood with it. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? It's looking promising. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And possession given away. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And wasteful there from Forrest. William. Morgan Gibbs White.
Ball with Shelby. Now, what can they do from here? The cross is on. And Chris Wood. And keeping it out. Well, I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there. And the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Retaining possession proving difficult. A really sumptuous ball. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here it is again. And it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Emmanuel Dennis. Shelby. Went in strongly to win the ball. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Fulham unable to hold on to the ball. Brennan Johnson. And it might be. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge. He keeps his balance and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. And they need to get tighter. Reed. Well, far from the ideal pass. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Breaking at pace. And Chris Wood. Still looking to get the shot off. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Cross it in here. Cedric. Happy to take on the shot. Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. The save was a good one. Oh. 
and played in by Willian. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Just made sure nothing came of that. Songare. Is it going to be? Marvellous anticipation. Shelby. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Chris Wood. Poor pass under no real pressure. Bobby Reid. And with that, the first half draws to a close. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective... Evangelos... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Cedric. A fine block. William. And teammates to play it to. Well, strong play here. William. Just cutting off the supply. Ibrahim Songare. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And he stopped them in their tracks. William. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Great opportunity. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Emmanuel Dennis. And it's with Gibbs White. Fulham recovering possession well. Bobby Reid. He continues his run. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. And really closing him down. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Bianconi. Wood with it. Morgan Gibbs White. Gibbs White. It has to be. Well, it didn't really go according to the script, did it? Well, the less said about that, the better, because that's a really poor attempt in the end. Number 10, Federico Bernadeschi. Rodriguez Savage now Robinson
Danny Olmo. It is a decent looking attack here. And out of play for a forest throw. And time for the change now. Morgan Gibbs White. Aboniyi. No danger here as he runs at them. Gibbs White. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. Bernardeschi, excellent vision. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly no stopping that. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Johnson. Scarpa. And continues his run. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Pretty straightforward in the end. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Ten minutes left for play. Bernardeschi. Evangelos Pavlidis. Danny Olmo. Bernardeschi. Can he put it in? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. The fans do it every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Takes it on, and the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. William Task with taking the corner. And you need your defender to take charge. Not the best challenge, free kick. Delivered into the box. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. Giving it a try. Oh, what a fine save, and a timely one, Stuart. Well, that does give them some hope, because that would have been the end. Willian with it. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily.
Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And intercepts again. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. You're absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball and then just a few mistakes at the back and it's cost them. Poor performance all round. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart?